Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am. In the Greek language, I am is a very intense way of referring to oneself. It would be comparable to saying, I myself, and only I am. In Matthew chapter 22, verse 32, Jesus quotes Exodus chapter 3, verse 6. We are God uses the same intensive form to say, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I said unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. The Jews clearly understood Jesus to be calling himself God because he took up stones to stone him for committing blasphemy and equating himself with God. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, as Jesus gave the great commission, he gave it Ephesus by saying, I am with you always to the end of the age. In John chapter 18, verse 4 to 6, when the soldiers came seeking Jesus in the garden the night before his crucifixion, he told them, I am he. And his words were so powerful that the soldiers fell to the crown. These words reflect the very name of God in Hebrew, Yahweh, which means to be where the self-existing one. It is the name of power in authority, and Jesus claimed it as his own. The way Jesus used the definite article to distinguish himself as the only way. A way is a path or road, and the disciples had expressed their confusion about where he was going and how they could follow. As he had told them from the beginning, Jesus again told them in us, Follow me. There is no other path to heaven, no other way to the Father. Peter reiterated the same truth years later to the rulers in Jerusalem, saying about Jesus, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The exclusive nature of the only path to salvation is, is expressed in the words, I am the way. Again, in John chapter 10, Jesus compared himself to a court shepherd. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him, because they know his voice. But they will not follow a stranger, in fact, they will run away from him, because they don't recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the cat for the sheep. All who have come before me are debts and robbers, but the sheep have not Listen to them. I am the cat. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pastures. Sheep do not choose their own path to safety and protection, but rely on the shepherd to guard and care for them. In order to be saved, we have to trust the shepherd and not wander off on our own adventures and try to find out our own way. But we, when we follow Jesus, He leads us to exactly where we need to be. Finally, He is making clear that He is the way to the Father and by extension to heaven. He says that He goes to prepare a place for us, and this suggests that after we have completed the journey of this life, we will find ourselves in a place of race where the Father is. The truth. Again, Jesus used the definite article to emphasize himself as the only truth. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142 says, Your, your law is the truth. In fact, Jesus said that he came to fulfill the law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Jesus as the incarnate word of God. John chapter 1 verse 1 is the source of all truth. 
after Jesus has been arrested, he found himself standing before Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea. Pilate found no evidence of any crime worthy of death, but was fascinated by his talk of a kingdom that was not of this world. John chapter 18 verse 36. Jesus replied, You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens my voice. Pilate's response comes in the form of a question, the same question that humanity has been asking for centuries, and the same response to Jesus that keeps so many from the faith. Pilate said to him, What is truth? Jesus answered discussions in John chapter 14 with the devils when he tells them, I am the truth. Jesus can testify to the truth and teach the truth because he himself is the truth. The words of John chapter 1 verse 1 set the stage for this very fact. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In this one sentence, John is proclaiming Jesus as the word, which would have suggested that is the beginning and the end of all that has been true throughout eternity in that to seek the truth ultimately leads us to seek Him, the life. This saying also draws us back to the shepherd analogy of John chapter 10. The death comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. I am the God shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, just the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Here Jesus not only painting a picture of how he depends and leads his sheep, but also foreshadowing his death and the cross. Jesus is teaching us that we are to really be concerned with. It's not this life but with eternal life. The scriptures speak often of the life to come after our life. And as we follow the voice of our shepherd, we can craft what that eternal life is in the here and now. We can live this life in such a way that we are not judging things that do not last, but judging things that do last and have eternal significance. When Jesus refers to himself as the way, the truth, and the life, he is giving us a better way to live our lives through him. He is showing us that through following him daily in faith, he will lead us to be, to be a better, richer, and more meaningful than we could ever find on our own. Conclusion Jesus was declaring himself the great I am the only path to heaven, the only true measure of righteousness, and the source of both physical and spiritual life. He was taking his claim as the very God of creation, the Lord who placed Abraham, and the Holy One who inhabits eternity. He did this so the disciples would be able to face the dark days ahead and carry on the mission of declaring the gospel to the world. Of course, we know from the scripture that they still did not understand, and it took several visits from the risen Lord to shake them out their disbelief. Once they understood the truth of his words, they became changed people, and the world was never been the same. So, how do we follow him today, the same way the disciples did long ago? They heard the words of Jesus and believed them. They took his words and obeyed them. They confessed their sins to Jesus as their Lord and Savior. They believed that he died to take the punishment of their sins and rose from the dead to give them new life. They followed his example and command to tell others the truth about sin, righteousness, and judgment. 
when we follow Him in the way, we can be assured of the following, following Him all the way to heaven. Thank you for watching my video. My next video will be spiritual caps. What are the spiritual caps? Or what is the importance of spiritual caps? We will discuss in my next video. So visit my next video and please subscribe my channel so that you will get notified all my videos. Thank you. May God bless you.